Hello there, everybody. I'm a little late getting this out, uh, but I have a good reason for doing that. This morning, I and fellow pastor Craig Rodenizer co-officiated at a funeral for one beloved person, Pastor Clarence Elliott. And it was a really, really meaningful time together with the family. And we are going to post a video from that. So if you're interested, just keep an eye out for it and you will see it soon. But anyhow, uh, that's where I was this morning. And now I'm just getting to our Holy Week meditations. And all this week, I want to focus on, at least uh, for four of the days, the uh, servant songs that we find in Isaiah. These servant songs were written well, for a community of people, meaning the people of Israel, but also they tend to have some individualistic overtones to it as well, like speaking of an individual, a servant who would come to do God's will. So who is that? Well, the early Christian community said, that is our Jesus Christ, Savior of the world. Let's look at the first servant song that is in Isaiah, it's in chapter 42, the first nine verses. I'm going to read all nine verses for this Holy Week. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break and a dimly burning wick he will not quench he will faithfully bring forth justice he will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his teaching thus says god the lord who created the heavens and stretched them out who spread out the earth and what comes from it who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it i am the lord I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord. That is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols." See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. It's a beautiful song, and in it, the early Christian writers did see, did see Jesus. But it's not just uh, Jesus that it's speaking to. It's also speaking to us as God's people, that we are the ones like this servant who follow in his footsteps, his servant in whom God takes delight. God just didn't pluck the servant out of thin air and say, now do what I tell you to do. No, he's doing it because he enjoys it. And he hopes that his servant enjoys it as well. He, he, he wants that servant to to be refreshed by what he's called to do and he'll put his spirit upon him in all this not only think about jesus but think about yourself too we are the ones called to do these things and what is it primarily that flows through this whole servant song justice justice and righteousness you'll see those those two words in the old testament linked together intricately linked together justice righteousness uh, and they they talk about relationship too relationship between god and us and how out of that love that god shows us and his righteousness that is now put upon us how that flows out into relationships with one another and especially especially as we go out and establishing God's justice on the earth. How do we do it? Not like some of the cruddy rulers of this world who kind of beat down the oppressed. No, we will not cry or lift up our voice. We will not take a bruised reed and break it or a dimly burning wick and 
and quench it. No, we won't do that. We won't trample the needy. We won't hurt those who are hurting. We will lift them up instead. We will bring them peace, hope, justice. All the way through, that's what this song says. So read it. Dwell on it this week. Isaiah 42, verses 1 through 9. My little title at the top says, The Servant, a Light to the Nations. And again, as I said, we see in that, in this uh, servant song, we see Jesus. We see the nation of Israel that was called to be the light to the nations. We see ourselves. We who have been enlightened by the Spirit of God, baptized into Christ, this is our mission as well. At the very end there, toward the end it says, I've given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison, those who sit in darkness. Now, you, you can take that literally. It is to be taken literally, but it's also taken in a figurative sense as well. We who have been imprisoned ourselves have been set free by this servant. And now we are the ones who go out and set others free. How? Well, we may not be bailing them out of jail, <laughs> might, might not be breaking them out of jail, but we'll be breaking them out of the prisons that they've imposed themselves into. Their spiritual darkness, spiritual prisons, um, emotional darkness. You and I can bring light and hope to them simply by loving them and caring for them. Beautiful, beautiful servant. Odd song. We'll look at the other three as well this week. And as we read those, you're going to see a lot of Good Friday right there in those songs. God's blessings be with you. Enjoy the day. It's sunny and it's bright. Boy, it got kind of cold overnight. Still in the 30s. That's okay. Oh, but still March. We're almost out of this month. Come April, those April showers. Let's let them bring on the Mayflowers. Blessings be with you.